Hello there. Welcome to this morning show that has moved up to 11.15 today. Um, I am Sherry Rothwell and I am doing this show, the Delish Diet Daily Show, on my Delish Diet Facebook page, if you're seeing this somewhere else. And um, it is Monday to Friday. But today I got a little um, monkey wrench or whatever you want to call it thrown into my plans and stayed up really late last night getting something done for a deadline and stimulated myself into such an intense place of high energy that I could not fall asleep. So you might be able to actually tell by my eyes right now <laughs> um, that I am pretty tired. So this morning I tried to get back to sleep and I probably got almost four hours of sleep in total, but it, it was a uh, quite a rough night. And so I'm doing it right now instead of just skipping a day we're we're getting it. We're getting it done. So um, one of the things that uh, why I'm telling you this story actually is because one of the ways I tried to get myself to fall back asleep was by reading. And um, I thought I'll read a book uh, for the second time that I've already read. And I actually was planning to read this book anyways, um, because I'm having one of those moments of needing to adjust things. Um, I, uh, when I find a book that I think is really powerful, um, I feel like it's not just enough to just read the book, but actually to read it again and to take notes and look for as many ways as possible to implement what you learn, right? Because it's so often that we, you know, hear things and they are empowering, inspiring and motivating, and then we lose our juice for it. And we actually forget everything we learned because we didn't actually put it into practice. So I am actually now reading this book by Benjamin Hardy uh, for the second time. So I was looking uh, looking for something to do this week in terms of a focus for this, this week's show. And uh, this morning, since I was reading Willpower Doesn't Work, again, I figured that I would actually cover uh, some of the key points of this book um, this week, Monday to Friday, on the Delish Daily Show. And um, this book isn't just about... Uh, you know, we think of willpower and we think of weight loss. This isn't just about that. And this applies to everything. And uh, so basically, I'm going to be going through that this week. And I'm going to try to keep this show pretty short. Uh, because like I mentioned, I am short on sleep, and I'm probably not as focused as I could be. But I want to uh, invite you to consider going and getting that book. It's pretty much readily available in, um, you know, chapters and, and you know, on Amazon or whatever. You can get it delivered to your house. It has so many good gems in it. And he really outlines what it takes to uh, support people to actually create the results that they want in their life. And he's done a ton of research on this. And I can attest from my own personal experience that what he outlines in this book for how to create change in your, life, in your life is the stuff that I know I am unconsciously doing in my own life in the areas where I have um, more mastery and um, accomplishment in those areas. And then I notice that the areas of my life where I'm lacking, I am not actually doing those things. So I feel like it's a really good model for creating any kind of change that you want in your life. And the, basically the premise of it is, is that, you know, most of us, we set goals and we try to use willpower to achieve them. But unfortunately, willpower runs out. And that's why if you try to make a change and all you try to do is stop yourself from doing something else or try to or stop yourself from doing something or try to force yourself to do something else, that's not going to uh, be enough to fuel you to make it to the point where you actually make change in your life. So for this week, I'm going to be going through that. And the major premise of how you make change is in four steps. And I'll go through those four steps in the next video. But the basic aspect of it, that is something that I already do with my clients. And this is how I actually maintain my results in my life. Um, having lost um, 12 dress sizes from size 16 to size four is changing my environment. And this is what you have to do for every single change that you want to create in your life is to change the environment around you to support you because our environment impacts the action that we take. It impacts how we feel, 
Um, and you know, you know this, right? If you go, um, you know, walk into a messy space, you feel differently than if you um, come into a clean, calm space. Um, you might feel different in certain environments because of the people that are there. Uh, positive people, you're going to be more likely to feel positive and take positive action. If you're around negative people, you're going to, uh, you know, take negative, you're going to feel down and your energy is going to be drained and you might start to think negative thoughts that will lead to negative actions. And it's the, all of this applies to everything, but it also applies to weight loss. And so one of the major things that we do in the Delish Diet program is we have a module that we cover called Revamp Your Kitchen. And it's literally in changing the environment of your kitchen so that it's a match to the decision that you've made to lose the weight permanently. So it's not about, you know, just putting everything that you uh, know that you're not supposed to eat away in a closet so that you can eat it later when the diet's done. It's actually about changing your whole entire um, relationship to the environment. Um, and and that begins with a decision, right? Because if you don't decide that you're going to make this change permanently, then you're going to be in resistance to changing the environment because you are actually putting on, um, you're putting the option B in place. And it's a lot easier to take in that when it's there, right in your environment. So I want to invite you to um, join me this week to cover the steps of um, how to actually make change in your life permanently without having to use willpower. And each day we're going to go deeply into the four points. Um, and actually, I'll just give you a quick read here what they are. And they're right from the introduction of the book. Okay, so we're looking at um, the fact that willpower, like why is it even required for people? Um, it's basically you have to use it when you haven't actually made a decision, you have an internal conflict. Okay, so this is from the introduction of the book, Willpower Doesn't Work. The reason you're using willpower is you haven't made a decision. You're looking between two things that you want, but they're conflicting with each other. And you're in that gray area where you haven't made a decision, and that's why you're going to have to use willpower until the decision is made. And of course, um, the willpower actually, uh, just like a muscle, right? Like if you uh, lift a weight and you just keep lifting and lifting, you never stop and take that rest time. You're not actually going to grow um, that muscle. You're actually going to weaken it um, and it's going to be depleted with that overuse. Okay. So the same thing with willpower, it just becomes depleted over time. Um, and so the very fact um, that you have to use willpower is a sign you haven't made a decision. Okay. So that's the first part of it. The second part is you don't have a strong desire for and a reason why that is going to hold you to your decision when the going gets tough and you face obstacles, which we all do. It doesn't matter what it is that we, you know, uh, face. Uh, number three is that you're not invested in yourself or your dreams. So you haven't put your own time, your own money, um, your own energy on the line to make that bet on yourself. OK, so whether that's, you know, just for example, the, exa the example of revamping your kitchen and getting everything out of it that's not a match to the diet program that you're doing is a sign um, that you haven't decided, but also you aren't even willing to invest that risk in yourself, right? You're not in willing to invest in that good quality food. You're not willing to invest in the time it takes to do that. Okay. Um, and then finally, the environment opposes the goal. Right. So if there are foods in your kitchen that are not a match to what you decide that you're going to be eating, then you are making it really difficult for yourself. You're and make it, you're forcing yourself to have to use willpower right? because, you know, those things are there. Right. Um, so this entire week, we're going to cover uh, the uh, basic wisdom that comes out of this book. That's super, super helpful. And again, I recommend getting a copy of it. You might want to follow along. And uh, we will cover all of the aspects that um, Ben Hardy outlines to be successful with any goal that you want in your life. So if you can even benefit from this if you're not looking to lose weight, but you want to just have a, you know, um, some guidance and a structure with which to make change in your life. All right. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow in the next Delish Daily live stream. And we will uh, go for in more detail um, about the four things that need to be in place to change your life, to be successful in any endeavor. We'll see you then. Bye for now.